Hey guys, Everything Tech Pro here. Today in this video, I'll be sharing in-depth analysis about the macOS Sierra. Both the macOS Sierra and the uh, iOS 10 hit the stores just today. And both of them are available for the beta update for the public. And today in this video, we'll be seeing whether or not to update your device from El Capitan to macOS Sierra because it may be buggy. So let's get started up right away. First of all, we'll see the bugs, which I noticed right now, and then we'll go on to uh, see the features. So uh, starting with the glitches and bugs, which I found out. So first of them is the Safari crash, you know, uh, glitch or bug. So whenever you click the Safari and just click the search tab, boom, it just crashes, you know. But you know, if you let the home page load or whatever page Safari is loading load, it just loads it and then it's stable. Then you can browse through anything. Let me go and show you my YouTube page for those who haven't visited my YouTube page. So it looks somewhat like this. And after that, when you click the search bar, it does not matter. You can search anything from now onwards. So, but when you do it for the first time, it just fails like you click it just immediately when you click the search bar the safari crashes for some strange reason so this is one problem in the uh, mac os era from which i noticed from now but if anything else comes up i'll let you know within one or two days because i'll be using it more and more and i'll let you know when uh, i find out some other bugs and glitches so now let's see the features of the Mac OS Sierra now. So first let's see what did not change. That's very easy to tell that the folders, when you press the space button, uh, the, uh, the quick look comes up and when you press the command I everything is same. When you go to the airdrop, the design is the same. Nothing much has changed right here. And um, while browsing, you know, the side menu is also the same. Nothing much has changed. And these modes are all there in the previous versions of the, uh, the Mac OS as well. I, or I could say OS X as well. But now, let's come to the portion which has changed. So first of all, I would like to tell you about Siri. So finally, Siri has made its way from the iPhones to the Mac. So when you just uh, boot up your uh, Mac, you could see that the... Uh, this is a bit, bit buggy when you just go to the corners, the notifications and just uh, comes up. I don't know why, whether uh, I just said it or not, but so yeah, a bit buggy, but uh, that's okay. So you could see this Siri from your dock as well as from here, but how to activate it without clicking? Just press the command and space and Siri is right available. Hey Siri, when you just talk, it just takes it. So now let's give her some work to do. So we'll ha ask her how is the weather. So let's get started up. Hey Siri, what's the weather like now? Here's the current weather. So it just showed me the weather, but I don't know whether you notice or not. I'll press the Siri and I'll call her once more. I'll just close this. You see the graphic problem right over here. See, the graphic is not perfectly coming and now just it just came up back again. So the graphic bug is still there, but it's okay. And Apple will definitely patch it as the time goes on with the beta 2, beta 3, whatever comes up. Apple will patch this problem because people might be uh, have reported uh, this problem already. So this is it for Siri. Just the same, but you can't tell her to do set the alarm. I'll tell her to set an alarm. Let's see what happens. Hey Siri, wake me up at 5 a.m. I can't set an alarm here. How about a reminder instead? No, thank you. Okay, I won't remind you. So, like, you can see here that you can set reminders, but you cannot, you know, set an alarm like you do on your iPhone. So, okay. Uh, open notes. You can open apps and all from right here, so it's not going to be a problem. Oh, I just keep talking, so. Open notes. So you can see she just opened up my notes. So uh, you can see that here you can now uh, view the log notes and enter the password, but the Touch ID portion is not available. But let's see if Apple launches the MacBook Pro with the Touch ID, then it is rumored that you will you may be using the uh, notes to unlock with your uh, Touch ID on your Mac. So you can launch the apps and all. Next thing is the new look for the notification center, but you know, nothing much has changed here, even though you know, your widgets all remain the same, only uh, these widgets were there in the previous version as well, but 
uh, you have a redesigned notification center just a bit light rather than saying dark on the uh, El Capitan so uh, you have the redesigned notification center right here and you can uh, add on widgets and when you click this it just jumps onto the system preferences onto the uh, place where you can uh, add whatever you want <coughs> So this notification will also be, you know, very crucial when it comes to the uh, notification bar on the touch notification bar on the newer MacBook Pro. So this will play an important role. Third thing is that the AirPlay uh, button uh, or the uh, component is by default included on the menu bar on the top. <clears throat> In the previous versions of the Mac, you needed to go to the settings and unlock, or you have to make it visible. But in this version of the Mac OS, it's automatically available. Next up, going to Safari. So he has Safari crashes now also, so let it load now. So when we go to Safari and let's load up YouTube and uh, let's load up a video now. So, uh, okay, I'll load up my video right here. So when you load up the video, you can see that the AirPlay uh, button is included in the uh, YouTube video as well. So to make sure that this is not a change from YouTube and it's a change from Apple let's load it in Google Chrome and uh, okay I don't have my video right here so I have to search it everything tech pro so let's go right into it so yeah you could see my videos let's go into the channel anyway and let's play this now you see that the airplay is not available here but instead if you go and see in the Safari the airplay is right over here and you can use it to connect some Bluetooth device so next change is picture in picture this was widely advertised by Apple in the WWD 2016 right click you see this frame but this does not have picture to picture in picture don't panic just double click again you see this uh, uh, slide down and you have the enter picture in picture mode when you do that it just pops out and it's a separate mode and you can just play it right here and minimize this guy and leave this guy when wherever you want but the problem is you can't leave it anywhere in the center it just fits in the corners nowhere else so when you leave it it just keeps over there for uh, about a second or something I click and drag and I leave it it just goes but when I use my three fingers on my trackpad to slide it down uh, it just tucks in for one second. I don't know whether it's a glitch or something, but you know, this is also a small type of bug, but I don't think this is much serious bug considering the quality that you get with the picture in picture. So when you close this, the video is automatically paused, it does not resume, but uh, when you click the picture in picture and you, I play this guy and I let's minimize this guy okay so let's minimize Safari this is playing when you click this it just jumps right into it and the video is still playing it does not get paused when you click the X button then the uh, the YouTube video is just paused so that's it guys for Safari I don't know I didn't I didn't see any of the changes right here but uh, frankly speaking you know nothing more I think has changed or I could say nothing more has been included in this version of the uh, public beta 1 of the Mac OS Sierra. So that's it guys for today. So uh, <clears throat> let's uh, find this video off. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like and uh, please share and subscribe this channel to see more such videos. So if any update comes up, I'll post another video definitely. Please don't forget to uh, check back on the updates. And next up coming is the iOS 10 beta, public beta 1 update. So please don't forget to watch it. So uh, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until that time, it's peace out.